Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Street Fighter V Ranked. Post-commentated, of course. This is, I'm really liking this format. I think it's good because I, you know, get to play the game just like midday, uh, you know, just like whenever I get to play it. There's no, like, extra pressure on doing well in an actual pre-recorded episode. But yeah, two things I've been doing since the last episode. The first thing is I have been grinding out some Laura. Sounds bad like that, but you know, I mean, Laura has got to be the biggest thought in this game, one of them. Uh, so yeah, I've been grinding out my Laura, uh, mainly just playing casual matches, trying to build up some muscle memory with this character. This is like the beginning of it, uh, of me building up muscle memory. You'll see I do hella scruff combos in this game uh, against this Ken right here. Uh, yeah, but as things go on, I get a little bit better, you'll see in this episode. Uh, for the actual ranked matches, I've been sticking to birdie, and I have been grinding up and leveling up. I actually get to super silver in this rank, or in this episode, which might be spoiling it, but I gotta say it early, like, that's the highest I've ever been in this game. Uh, it's like a fat bong rip, you know, get high. Uh, so yeah, I'm ultra silver now, which is pretty cool. Grinding up to that gold. I don't know how far I can actually get in this game. Like, you know, just think about it. I don't go like super hardcore uh, with frame data and punishes and all that. I have been practicing them, which is the reason I've been getting better. Uh, I th they like to think I've been getting better. Uh, so I might go like dig myself deeper into the frame data stuff. Uh, but we'll see, but we'll see. I would like to think that I can at least get to gold. Uh, I think I'm good enough to do that. The thing with gold is uh, I've been facing quite a few gold players uh, now that I'm in Ultra Silver. With Laura, of course, which of course is immediately I do worse because I have less like muscle memory with this character than Birdie. But I noticed that people tend to do the same shit uh, as in stick to the one playstyle. Not that, you know, someone who has just got to Ultra Silver has any right to comment on anything regarding how people play. But I've noticed that people in gold have a slightly better understanding of, like, meaties and frame data and punishes and all that. But they still rely on the gimmicks. Which makes me scared. Like, do I rely on the gimmicks? I know sometimes I do. I know for a fact that I, I do... Some things with birdie, which are like bad habits. Uh, but I am working actively on trying to get rid of those bad habits. Yeah, so I think Laura will be my secondary. Maybe once Seth comes out. And Seth, believe me, I will be checking out. He actually comes out on Friday, the 14th. So, yeah, we're going to be taking a look at him because her. Is it him, her? Him. Because he actually looks hella, hella interesting. I think it's they refer to as to Seth as she in this game, right? I don't know. I think Japanese actually. Correct me if I'm wrong. God, the, landing that command grab is the most satisfying thing ever. The EX one. I think Japanese is also gender neutral, but let me know. As in, there's no he she. Like Hungarian, uh, my mother tongue as well. Also gender neutral. Yeah, I kind of went ham with Laura here. Uh, this is this is one of the things I like about this character. Uh, you know, Birdie is a little bit passive. You have like his long range buttons. You kind of just like press them, keep the opponent out. You know, like the banana. There's some characters that the banana just like ab absolutely checkmates. Uh, and Laura is kind of the exact opposite of that. You really just like gotta go in and force your playstyle on people, you know, with like the constant offense. That's why, you know, you'll see that I jump a lot more with Laura uh, than I do, than I ever do with Birdie. Uh, I know it's a bad habit, but, you know, this is the kind of shit like you can do with her. Like this type of pressure and it's just a nightmare to escape. Be believe me, I have been on the receiving end of this type of Laura pressure, so. I know what's up, believe me, I know what is up. One of the things that is good about me picking her up is that maybe I'll also learn how to counter her 
I should have gone for a command grab there, now that I think about it. But this is, again, I love doing this. I love playing her like this because it's so different to Birdie. And it's really just like a fun switch up. And I think Seth has the potential to be like that as well. I've seen all the like early gameplays of uh, Seth as well. And she looks hella, hella fun. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if he fits my playstyle. I'm never gonna like be able to get a fixed gender on Seth to call him. Probably gonna be switching. But And believe me, when Seth comes out, I will be going for that summer costume. God, this is one of the things uh, I haven't figured out at this point. Or I forgot more like the best combo from a crush counter roundhouse. Uh, you gotta go just with a medium uh, tackle into the ender and I'm gonna be pissed every time I miss it because I miss that combo like every single time. I keep trying to like jump in, I mean dash in and do other shit, it just doesn't work. The medium, uh, what you call it, tackle is all you get and I'm gonna be super pissed every time I miss that. So yeah. I didn't really talk about the gameplay here that much uh, because this honestly nothing special happened I just kind of went to town on this can and by the way this outfit you know that I'm wearing the thoughtiest outfit on purpose for Laura this is such an awesome costume but yeah this time we're gonna get into actual rank matches with Birdo who I'm sticking with with the nostalgia costume you might notice a difference in quality uh, for this video. I don't know how noticeable it is. Uh, this is because this match was recorded not from like the replay feature, nice sweep, gotta admit. Not from the replay p feature, but from the PlayStation. So that's why I think the frame data... <laughs> frame data. Okay, thinking too much in fighting game terms. I think this only records at uh, certain frames, not at 60 FPS for sure. Uh, so that might be the reason why the footage looks different. You'll see why, you'll see why I was doing this. Uh, yeah, just just wait. So yeah, Karin, I think with these types of V-triggers, the counter types, like Karin has it, Ryu has it, best thing to do is just wait it out. Uh, he didn't really go in, but it's scary when a character goes in on you with a V-skill. I mean a V-trigger like this. Of course you know that it's like very read heavy. Uh, so it's risky, but still. Counter, it's it's powerful. Hers is not as powerful as Ryu's, luckily. So I'm more scared of Ryu's for sure. Yeah, I gotta hit with that EX chain. Yeah, the banana is fucking godlike. Like, you'll see that I use the banana a lot, uh, because, yeah, again, it's just, it's just really good. It's just really good. It shuts down a lot of people. Uh, yeah, he, he was kind of risky with the mix-ups. But, I mean, this is Korean, so, yeah, anytime you could be screwed. But, you're not screwed if you do an EX Dolphin dive and you just slam them. Actually, that probably killed. One of the things I didn't know or I forgot because it's kind of a not really known thing is that Birdie's V-Trigger 2 actually increases the damage on any of the chain moves. That's probably why that dealt enough damage because that actually doesn't deal that much damage. So yeah, yeah, that's the deal, that's the deal. Anyways, just wait for it. Just you'll, you'll see what happens. You'll see what happens. I think most people can guess what happens. That was super punishable what I just did. Uh, the, the heavy in her face traded sweeps. Yeah, the connection was a bit iffy on this game. So, but you know, it's Street Fighter V. It's Street Fighter V. What else can you expect? I've gotten used to it at this point. I know how to filter out most of the uh, worst connections. He doesn't really, like, see, this is the thing. People don't know how to deal with the banana as well. Uh... See, got a banana combo, that's like the most satisfying. And this is when I realized it, that he just doesn't know what to do against it. Uh, he, here he jumped in. I don't know why I pressed light punch to anti-air. That is obviously not how you anti-air in this game. I activated just in case. 
Yeah, it's 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 not easy to deal with. I think that's minus two. So yeah, it's 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 a little bit tough. Uh, you have to guess. Obviously not. You can I think jab out of it, but still a lot of people don't know what to do against the chain when you drag them in like that. The low one is even safer. I think the low one is actually legit. Uh, it, it's probably not zero, but it's 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 good. Yeah. Yeah, I got her in the corner. This is a tough situation to be in. Yeah, we got that. And here it comes. Perfect. And the disconnect. God, I love Rage Quitters. Rage Quitters are the absolute best. This dude, the perfect KO popped up. He's like, I'm gonna go low tier god. Unplug that shit. Yeah. That's obviously I don't get the points, which is a little bit shitty, but damn, it's like how desperate can you be? And you know, really, this is the thing that I wanted to get down. Oh, yeah, this Zangief was absolutely fucking lootly crazy until I realized that he also doesn't know what to do against the banana. Uh, this is the thing again that really helped me with kind of yes, he is just going ham. First, I didn't know what the hell to do, but I figured it out. This is one of the things that really helped me, and I think one of the things that has led me to improve and kind of rank up is that I absolutely stopped giving a fuck about points. Sure, it doesn't feel good to sort of bounce between tiers. I have a feeling now that I'm in Ultra Silver, I'm going to bounce in and out of it several times. It's just the nature of this game, you know, and the nature of learning, but I absolutely do not give a shit about points. Uh, and I think that's one of the best attitudes you can and mindset you can get yourself into with this game because you know like bullshit happens this game has not exactly the best net code uh, people in these ranks yeah that's like my one crazy moment for this episode I woke up super but I kind of had a feeling he wasn't gonna know what to do uh, or he wasn't gonna block this guy had a habit of not not blocking anything so he got me back to be fair this is one of the best i love this super just press into the ground god that deals a lot of damage uh what was i saying oh yeah so yeah this game you're gonna get hit with that bullshit uh you're gonna meet a player who just has like an absolutely unpredictable play style and you're gonna rank down who cares like as long as you're taking each match and you know learning from it that's all that matters and i think that's like the real weakness of some of these like dsp slash low tier god type people it's just the never learning and never admitting that you might have fucked up and always blaming everything else yeah that's like the worst god that got i got like very motivational here uh yeah the zangief didn't want to rematch and this guy i included this match it's honestly nothing special but i included it because G is like extremely rare, especially in low ranks. Let me tell you, the amount of reuse uh, that play in like silver, bronze to silver to gold from what I've seen is absolutely, absolutely insane. Uh, yesterday I played some casual matches on Sunday morning and I swear, out of like 10 matches, Eight of them were against Ryu. I fought one Bison and one Nakali, I think. Yeah, one Bison and one Nakali. Rest of them, Ryu. Just Ryu, Ryu, Ryu. And... Yeah, I know. He's the poster boy of the game, but... People just play him because... As of this season, he is fairly powerful. Uh, not sure if he's tournament viable, but... He's fairly powerful and, you know, people look for easy wins. Uh, Akuma was the same way in the previous seasons when he was, like, really oppressive. Uh, Akuma is still crazy, but he is a little bit, you know, more balanced now. And people just dropped him like hot shit. Uh, and strangely, even at the beginning of the season, you saw a bunch of Kage's. Like, Kage was the flavor of the day. And people just like quickly abandoned that and went back to went back to Ryu. Which again is understandable because 
everybody knows here he mega fucked up. I just want to point that out. Again, this match wasn't anything special, but that this dude mega fucked up by not cancelling into super. He could have easily, easily chipped me, uh, but he messed up. And I took the win. And I took the win. So what was I saying? Yeah, just Ryu. Crazy, crazy amount of them. Uh, and it actually gets... Uh, it's one of the frustrations I have with this game is just it gets hella boring to play online because it's you're facing the same character over and over again. You'll get one or two laggy cans in between, but I cannot remember the last time I fought like a Falk or... I don't even know who else, like a bunch of characters, like E Honda. I don't even, re I don't even remember when I last fought E Honda. Speaking of fighting, I fucked up there by doing the fourth heavy punch. I was keeping this Gil pretty solidly in the corner, uh, and believe me, you gotta be careful with Gil uh, again with Birdie because he can zone you the fuck out if you're not careful. Gil actually has fairly solid projectile game. For a character like this, or in a matchup like this, uh, against like a Ryu, obviously, he cannot compete, or like one of the better zoners, but still. Man, I cannot wait to have Seth. I'm not going to beat around the bush there, I mashed like hell. I mashed Light Punch like hell, I felt like he was gonna cancel into the flame, and I heard somewhere that that is actually interruptible. So I was, you know, I was tapping that button, I was tapping that light punch, I don't know how well you could hear me tapping the table. Yeah. Anyways, watch me get checkmated here. Is it this, is it this round? I think it might not be this round. No, I'll get checkmated here, don't worry. It's got an anti-air, fail the command grab. This guy was good at jumping out of command grabs. Yeah. See, so he's just like... I have trouble against the pyrokinesis. Activate? Do I... I should have activated. Dumb. Dumb mistake. Because Birdie actually has... Oh, oh I got him with the bamboozle. That That is a gimmick. That is just a straight up gimmick, but... You know, every once in a while... Once or twice in a set, there is nothing wrong with pulling out a gimmick. You might just have it at the perfect amount of time, or at the perfect time to catch your opponent off guard. Yeah. Anyways, Gil around too. It's kind of crazy, like, this matchup, <laughs> you know, fucking a fat British punk versus a two colored god, and I win. I.e., the fat punk. But I mean, whatever. This is not an anime. We're not going off of power levels. I see I'm getting hit by... I'm getting hit by the projectiles. It's not good. And Gil has crazy air buttons. That's one of the things I've noticed. Activated, which was actually super punishable. He could have done the dash. Gil is done so well. I love that he's voiced by Liam O'Brien, who voices Vor in Darksiders as well. Just such a fitting, just such a fitting voice to Gil. And this dude is like super recognizable as a voice actor. Like you hear this guy, he also voices Illidan in Wow, wow I think, and you immediately know it's him. Yeah, this is where I get fucked up by the stupid, by the stupid EX tackles. Cannot believe it because if I remember correctly, the last episode I did, a Urian did the exact same thing to me, and I think I promised there that I wasn't gonna get hit by that trick again. But here I am. Here I am. There is a lot of pyrokinesis. I was worried here. I'm not gonna lie, but then I started anti-airing. As soon as he was not doing the EX ones, it became way easier. I just literally did two sweeps in a row. Don't even think about it. Just don't. That is a nice activation and nice jump out. Yeah, again, this guy managed to jump out of a lot of my command grabs. And oh, oh, it's so painful. 
combo drops. Really easy combo drops. See again. Nice. God, that was painful. That was a painful drop. Oh, I tried it again. See, you should only do it once. Once per game. And I EX'd. EX through the projectile. Which is a viable tactic. You just gotta let go of them buttons. Uh, yeah. Man, Birdie is so much fun. I got a good read on there. I wasn't expecting anything. But I got a good read with the... Uh, Bullhorn. This is just the thing. People try to jump in on Birdie and they really shouldn't. See, there it worked. I was so happy. And I cannot believe it didn't stun. That, however, did stun. And watch this. This is also... Oh, it's so painful. I dropped it like an idiot. Thankfully, he panicked and he did something unsafe. But, man, two combo drops in a pretty... A pretty crucial game. Because I think this was the one that got me to Ultra Silver. But, yeah. Two crucial drops. Not good. Really easy combos, too. But whatever. It happens. And we are going to close out... Close out with Alora. Now in Ultra Silver. I said Ultra Silver so many times in this episode. Uh, yeah. So this is against Kareen. I have fought this Kareen before. Uh, he has... He's in a dojo. It says play wired, no Wi-Fi. Which is a little bit ironic because this dude has an absolutely god-awful connection. So... Yeah, his name... His namesake does not reflect reality. Maybe we just have a bad connection, you know. It's like a bad relationship. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I distinctly remember this dude having god-awful netcode or a god-awful connection. Anyways, we are on the Abigail Christmas stage, which is pretty godlike. Oh, that throw. That was a really strange throw, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. And this is a bunk-ass Karen outfit. This is like one of the worst Karen outfits out there. The godlike ones are like the OG. The original Karen outfit is really good. And the horse rider one. I like the horse rider one. But it doesn't matter. This Laura one is where it's at. This swimsuit Laura with the orange color. Yeah. That's, that's the shit. Believe me. I wonder if Laura is going to make it back to SF6 when it eventually comes out. I think she has potential. Like She's a good character. I think probably she was the most well-received. I don't know, actually, because Rashid is... I mean, Rashid has always been kind of a mixed bag because the character is good, but he has always been so overpowered that people just kind of tend to hate him. But I don't know. I like all these characters, honestly. Yeah, I got hit, whatever. Ed is, I think, also a good one at his potential. Falk, I'm less like optimistic on that she'll make it back. I think she might be a one-game character. She's kind of boring. Even though I think she ha does have a unique gameplay style. Uh, but whatever. Again, I'm so terrible. Just do the fucking... Okay, Mark, next time you play this game... Just do the fucking medium tackle. I'm like trying to commit it to memory. Yeah, got the crush, but I did the wrong thing. He got me with so many of these EXs. Yeah, he just, he just EXing. Yeah, he he kind of goes ham here. Do I even win this? I don't remember if I win this or not. Oh yeah, I do. With a super laggy command grab. That's how... There's no better way to take a round with Laura, is there, or take a game. Yeah. Sick. Anyways, I rematched this dude. And I think this is gonna be the final game of the game. Of this episode. One of the things that people have been asking me in the comments is whether there will be an opportunity to play with me or like whether I will play with subscribers and hell yeah I'm 
hella down with that. I think what I'm gonna do until the next episode is I will make myself a dojo. Uh, the Mr. Sketchhead YT dojo or something like that. And I will make a video specifically about that when it's done. And you guys can join and we can get some games out. I might also... I've been thinking of streaming this game again. Uh, but... I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think this game has... Still a lot of life left in it. I should be punishing that way harder. I don't know why I activated there, but Laura has a fast activation, so it doesn't matter. So, yeah. Oh yeah, this is a super... This is one of the stupidest way to, ways to lose a round. He did the EX Tenko. And just grabbed me. Damn it. Whatever. Again, the connection was not bad. Without making excuses like I previously said uh, this was not the most like reactable connection do you see how I hit her with the booty by the way at the start it's pretty good and I cannot believe they buffed this character Laura I mean I think no one no one expected you know Idom because I'm I mean Idom has been known but for him to just like pull out Laura on Capcom Cup and just destroy even though you know technically he won with poison but still you know I think at that point the buffs for this character have already been finalized so yeah fuck this guy is going absolutely crazy so I decided to go crazy as well uh, which again you can do with this character the worst you'll trade there I think And here, I don't know what the hell he was doing. He could have easily EX uh, DP'd me. Not DP, but you know. He could have e easily EX'd me. Uh, but he didn't. And I took the L, I mean the W because of it. Which I'm not too sad about. God, this character is sick. I will go... Yep. And I still don't... I don't think I've gotten it a single time in this episode. And it's a little bit frustrating. Because now I know what to do. There as well, I did a shitty combo. But it didn't matter. I mean, Karrion kind of stuns easily. So, yeah. That's about it for this episode. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Street Fighter V. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Do all of that. And yeah, the dojo will be set up by the next episode, hopefully. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out. Goodbye.